Okay, yes, I'm recording. Okay, hi, friends. I need your help. Sometimes I ask for your help. That's okay, isn't it? Well, I'm jumping all over the place already. First, let me say, I hope y'all are having a great day. I've been up since 3.48 this morning, a.m. <sighs> Super tired, um, but I can rest some more today now. I can rest. But, you guys, you know I stream my sales. I do them streaming from my phone. That's, I'm a phone girl. That's what I'm used to. And I got a new phone today. So what I need your help for is to tell me in the comments if the quality of my video today looks better or does it sound better. Now I have no lighting on. This is just natural sunlight coming in behind me. And I'm just gonna, you know, for practice, show you a couple of beautiful things that I have that'll either be um, up for grabs tomorrow night on Wednesday or the big New Year's Eve party Friday night, you guys. I'm so excited about it. I'm trying to think what can I wear that is so over the top, sparkly and blingy and shiny. You know, that's the way I want to ring in the new year with you guys. So, uh, yeah. Let me know if you have any ideas for that, too. I had this vintage black sequin jacket, but it's black sequins. Um, but anyway, I don't know, y'all. It'll be fun to do. I just want to be entertaining and, well, I'll be myself, but I hope it will be... I can't even spit this out, y'all. I know it won't be boring. For one, the people that are coming are fun. So that's gonna be great. Um, so let's look at this, and this is with no, like I said, no extra light. You guys let me know what you think. Now, this, um, this is beautiful, I think. It's a um, rose pink colored glass apple. And it's reflecting there, but isn't it so pretty? That is a thin glass and it's hollow. Um, and so it, it has this beautiful etching on it. And then I'm gonna show you what ruins it, which is why I'll probably keep it. But can you see this beautiful etching right here? Right there. Well, you turn it on around and it looks like some company has, you know, maybe they gifted these, whatever. And you see this. But that, y'all, that does not matter to me. I overlook my desk. It's a little unorganized at the moment. I've just finished up shipping, so I have to clean up from that. But you see, I can set it with that side showing. It's gorgeous. Can you guys see the details? All right, so we've got that. This is a very cool, um, not like a salt lamp, but uh, candle holder. And I love candles and I love different candle holders. So I love the apple, you guys. Let me know what's your favorite thing we're looking at right here in this practice video. So these little things, even my 16 year old daughter was like, those are really cool. I broke one little leaf off this one, but you know, some flowers have two or three petals, some have one, it doesn't matter. And I think they're gorgeous. Look at this. That one looks like it's leaning just a little bit. So this is how they're made. And I believe these are old. Um, seems like I remember things like this at my grandma's house when I was little. But that's how they're made. And there are three different sizes of them. And I think they're just gorgeous. Like, if you could see it, whoops. If you could see it, oh my, I'm knocking everything off, y'all. Pardon me. This is just practice anyway here with this new phone. But if you could see it like against a, a background, I think they're just beautiful. And I haven't decided, you know, maybe nobody else would like these. I just think they're so super cool. They're beautiful. And you know, you could use these. I think they might be candle holders actually. I think maybe, because look how the tops are. So let me know if you like those. 
Um, and if somebody wanted to purchase some, but here's the thing that I'm discovering. When I like something a lot, like I do these right here, if I sold these for, let's just say if I sold them for $35, well, that made money, didn't it? For sure. I, I earned a profit. That one's lean and I need to turn the screw a little bit. But I feel unsatisfied because I really loved these. And $35 doesn't replace the beauty of these things that I love. So I had some, you know, good advice from Laura over at Jewelry, etc. to, you know, keep what you love, what speaks to you, what calls your name, just, you know, um, and so I've been trying to practice that. Okay, this I love. I don't know how I get so fortunate to come across. This is my third wedding in Davis since I started this channel. And it's like the metal mesh, gorgeous. It keeps its form and shell. It has a little, um, I don't know if you can say a little color wear on, not a lot. And it has one little tiny place inside that right here, right there, if you can see on the edge. And it's just a little bit where that fabric. But y'all, that does not bother me. It may bother a collector. I don't know, but look how clean it is. Let's see if we can see that. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Oh my, I'm in love with it. And I've sold the ones I've gotten. This one I'm being very tempted to put up to collect, but I don't know, you know. Um, here are the new uh, old jewelry boxes I've picked up. Well, they're new to me, new to you. This one was in great shape. It, let's say, can you tell it's the, almost like a vinyl maybe? I'm not sure exactly, but it's beautiful. It's green inside, y'all. It's green. This is some uh, cool stone jewelry I picked up today. Um, but yeah, and it doesn't really need, I mean, oh, I love the green. I don't think I've had one with the green in it thus far. So my shadow is coming over on this video. But hopefully you can see, isn't that gorgeous? Lots and lots of room. This one I picked up to sell. And then you also have a pullout drawer down here. These are a pair of earrings that I purchased. I'm not gonna show the price on them, but these are some vintage clip-ons. And I'm almost wondering, are they emerald cut? Not 100% sure. If you're able to tell, please let me know. I don't say that they're marked, but y'all, these are gorgeous, aren't they? They're a good inch diameter too. Anyway, I had those, um, I might just leave them there in that drawer. This box back here, and then I'll be turning this off. Well, I might have a couple more things I'd like to show you, but this box I bought, um, and I was looking for a vintage pink jewelry box. I may have ordered one. I'm still looking, but this box is in beautiful shape. Um, again, my lighting's not great right now, y'all, but I just wanted to do some practice with this new phone to see what kind of quality of video I have. This is a very heavy wooden box that's over uh, a pound. It's gorgeous. What kind of wood would y'all say this is? Um, and actually, hold on one second. I'll bring some light over here. Okay, that's a little better. Um, this one's beautiful. And yeah, it has some scratching different things. But I think it's gorgeous. Um, there's the bottom of it. No markings. Somebody has made this. And okay. I really don't want you to see how terrible it looks right now. Glass, of course, is dusty. And I need to wipe it. But oh, this one... That's just a, some little loose threads. 
um, is it beautiful or what? Inside. And, yeah, you can say what I paid for it here. I, I thought that was wonderful for this. It's gorgeous. This one I really would like to keep. It's got heavy. It's so heavy. This lid is terribly heavy because of that glass. And this is just a cute little uh, vintage ring that I picked up. It's not sterling. Um, but I thought it's the silver tone metal mesh. I thought it was just adorable. I love this. Okay, so that and a couple of vintage purses. So y'all, I'm excited. If this is going to show up nice and clear, I feel like in my live streams and the auctions, if you guys can see the items better, that's going to be wonderful. That's what I want. Look at this old purse. <laughs> I love it. I love its vibrant colors. It's in great shape. Uh, of course, you got your little braided cord for a strap. It's, it looks like it'd be a spring form, but it's not. LA Regals, LTD, made in China. Oh, so sorry, y'all gonna hear my doggies barking. That's probably my daughter pulling back in. She took packages out to the post office for me. But isn't this gorgeous, y'all? Oh, I love that. I don't know if anybody else would love it. Now, this one, uh, what I'll do is I will take the lint shaver to get a few little lint balls off of this. But, y'all, this is so stylish, trendy, so New York to me. It's got the, I don't know if they're like a resin handle. It needs a white. And wh whoever made this bag, the emblem most likely was right in here. You see that where something was there. But I picked it up because I loved its handles. Um, it's clean. Um, far as I know, no markings. Just got a few little lint balls on it. But look at that. How? Let's see if I can put it right here and back up. I'll hang it right there and back up a little bit. See how long this hangs down, and then you've got those straps. Can you imagine this with um, a big pair of sunglasses, red lipstick, uh, some skinny jeans, a little heel? Um, <laughs> it's not going to be me, because I don't wear heels for one. But this is so, I just think so cool. Anyway. So those are a few little things, y'all. I did pick up this beautiful, I guess we're doing like auction preview here. Oh, quieting down, quieting down, I'm recording. So this unicorn, perfect shape, beautiful. Nice and clean, see, um, shiny silver feet. Oh, you got the mail, did I get a package? Oh, no, I didn't get a package. It's a dandy. Um, but isn't she adorable? I'm showing y'all some treasures from today. I felt I was battling with my thoughts today. I felt a little discouraged again for whatever reason. And you know what it comes from? I'm just going to be honest with y'all. This has turned into a long video, but... Before I go into just a minute of chit chat, will you please let me know, can you tell the difference in the quality of the video? Can you say things more sharp and more clear? I have no idea how my voice will sound, hopefully not too booming loud. I also picked up a little microphone also, so we'll see how that works. It was very inexpensive, so it may not. Um, but anyway, I picked up this Tweety. I think it's old. Um, I'm not sure if it's wearing a hat and shirt to look vintage or if it actually is. Um, all this tag it has is this. This made in China. But I think it, it's clothes are definitely vintage. Is that not so cool? And he's in great shape. I see one little tiny mark right there which probably can be cleaned out. So... Anyways, I'll show y'all one last thing, which was a gift from our very own Denise on the channel, if you haven't met her yet. 
if you're new to this channel, recently subscribed, um, only been to one sale or so, you'll meet her. She's wonderful. Um, and I don't want to single her out. I don't like to name names because I don't want to make anybody feel excluded. But y'all, from time to time, if some wonderful subscriber or customer or friend comes on my mind, I might speak about them a little bit. Um, and I hope that's okay to do. I have so many beautiful souls on my channel. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I could go into that, but we're not. But she bid on this in an auction that I had on my channel um, where Reinventing Rachel was joining me. And y'all, she'll be with me again New Year's Eve along with other great people. She bid this, she just bid it on up like she was trying to get it for herself. And when she went out and she won it, she said, send it to me, Steve. And I love it. It's just a beautiful Monet compact. Or compact hand, little handheld mirror. Beautiful box, perfect shape. I'll treasure this forever. I love it. So those are the things I was going to show you. But yeah. Just a few little things. Also, um, about the being discouraged. Yeah, that comes on me from time to time. I just talked about that not long ago, y'all. About feeling discouraged. Um, and glad that I didn't give up some months ago. Well, I've got to make a decision again to not give up. Because the idea and thought came to me. And it's not just a one-time decision for me to not give up in this case i'm just talking about this small business this channel this adventure okay but it could be about anything in life not giving up right look at this gorgeous sabika overlook my duct tape uh, duct tape works for everything y'all this is a beautiful sabika um black um, but yeah, it's not just a one-time decision. You might have to decide every day for a while. You might have to, I don't know, y'all. It's just, I had to, again, choose to not give up. There's a little cloisonne. Um, thimble. Has that got mother pearl in it? No, it's just enameled. I just want to see how you can say it. So, if you listened to all this, y'all, it's so long. I apologize. Um, but thank you for listening. Um, please let me know in the chat. Oh, there's another cute little... I thought you could use that for an earring holder. It's actually by Gons. It's got the tag on it. I didn't buy it in a store. It's... Uh, I found this. Um, there's a wish for y'all as I close, but please let me know what you think about the quality of the video, the sound, how could, could you see the items well? I mean, you know, if you will, if you'll give me that input, there's a little poison, eh? I think it might be a pillbox, a trinket. And, you know, welcome to, oh, this is gorgeous. It's just got me looking at everything now. Is this signed? Don't think that it is. It's very weighty. Welcome to this channel. Thank you for coming. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you'll stick around and let us get to know each other. Um, I am who I am. That's all I know to say, y'all. So far from perfect. And I hope you read my wish to you. I'm going to close it out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It was a large investment I made into this phone. And y'all, I can, I can do with the cheap phone. I always have. But I upgraded. I didn't upgrade. I purchased a phone that I thought would be so much more better quality when we stream and videos. So y'all could see. So it was a business investment. And I am glad that I got it done before that I got this, it looks like. My little Zoe. Before the end of the year. You know, so I can claim it on my taxes. So, love you guys. See you tomorrow night on Wednesday. And the link is set. The event link is set. Please set your reminder for tomorrow night and 
New Year's Eve if you have nothing else to do. Okay? Love you guys. Take care. Let me know. Say 20. The number 20 if you watched all the way through. Love you guys. Bye-bye.